Shut up, compressor. Yeah, low shoot from close. Hey everyone, Matt here with Duke's Models, and welcome back to the Weasel Off, where I take a comparative look at different elements of the F4G Wild Weasel kits from Meng and Zukimira. This time out, we're going to be looking at intakes. Now with the intakes, we have another case where I am convinced that Meng went to school on the Zukimira kit. So let's look at the Zuki kit, see how different parts of its intake system go together, and you can draw your own conclusions. So it basically starts with this outer piece. This is sort of the outer forward portion of the intake. This is, you know, the air goes in here, etc. And then we've got the splitter, which is two parts on the Zucamira kit. So this one has these little tabs that align to the inside like this. They glue in place. There's this little internal piece that you glue on to mount to the aircraft itself. And then you've got the forward portion of the splitter that glues in like that. And that's pretty much how you get to the forward portion of the intake. Back here you can see you know, that little hole corresponds to a dot on the fuselage where everything fits up and everything is awesome. Exciting. And the splitter plate, or, you know, and, and this, and this forward splitter plate is a nice idea, but I mean, it seems kind of like a waste because these are, you know, every Phantom I've ever seen, these are always the same color. You know, it's gold gray or it's dark green or it's, you know, neutral gray, whatever. It's always the same fucking color, so I don't know why they made it two separate things. It just makes things unnecessarily complicated. So, that is the forward intake portion of the Tsukimira kit. Meng, hey, that looks kind of familiar, right? Except they realized that the separate splitter plate's kind of silly, and didn't really bother with it. This is all one piece here with a one-piece backing plate and two little pips instead of the solo pip on the Tsukimira. Now, one thing they did miss out on in the course of doing it like this is this rear part of the intake is missing some cool rivet detail. That's about it, though, and that's not that big of a deal, to be honest. It gets pretty lost in there. So, another thing is that this is a much, much more snug fit. You know, you put these in here, and you can shake them all over the place, nothing's happening to them. You do the same with the Zuka Mira kit. And, well, I don't know. They come out pretty easily. You may not be able to shake loose, but whatever. So, you ultimately end up with something almost identical in terms of design, in terms of how it's intended to go together. Now, taking that around to the inside, here is, I've already glued them in place. So, here is the intake trunking for the Zuka Mira kit. You've got the, you know, you've got the turbines back here, the compressor faces, which I haven't glued in yet, but basically you've got these sort of sandwich design intake trunks, top and bottom halves, glue together, fill them, etc., kind of, to your heart's content. And then the idea is that your lovely intake kind of fits onto the wing and onto the fuselage and stuff in such a way that you get this join here. And when you look down, ooh, look, we've got intakes. Cool. That's basically the idea. Ming also has a top and bottom joining intake trunk type thing with holes for compressor faces in the back that joins into the lower fuselage. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Got, there we go, like so. And it does the exact same fucking thing. Literally no different. Then if we take fuselages and just kind of this might take me a second here. All right, so we got the main fuselage in a good happy place. Let's do the same with the Zuki Mirror and zoom out while we do this. I mean, so far, 
all this seems like a big old tie to me. Doesn't it seem like a tie to you? Like, literally the exact same design. The only trade-off is the Zuki Mira one is a little bit more complicated with the splitter plate. But in term, you know, in return for that complication, you also get more detail. So it's like, yeah, of course, you know, whatever. So I'm not going to fuck with the forged splitter plates because they're just too, too, uh, too time-consuming to deal with here. Once you glue them in, they stay in place, all that. So basically, the idea with the Zuki Mira one is kind of bring it up here, align it in place, etc. And it just sort of fits like that, right? I can probably do this splitter plate at this point. We'll see if we can get that to be happy. Oh, yeah, there we go. So yeah, then you have... Okay, so then yeah, you get the splitter plate installed and you get the intake installed and this is all loose fit. Fuse, you know, the wing's not glued in. We've got loose shit going on back here. And this is still a pretty okay join, right? See, the fucking splitter plate. So, yeah, there's a little bit of fettling here to get this joint nice and tight. Just a tiny bit, though. Yeah, and then this piece does the exact same thing on this side. You know, it's not perfect. Need to work on it a tiny little bit, but that's, that's okay. That's doable-ish. So, that's kind of how the intakes work out. You look down the trunk, they're okay. Probably, yeah, with a little bit of fettling, we can make them a bit tighter. But yeah, that is the Zuki Mira fit. Now let's look at how the Meng works. Hopefully, it's not ejecting throttles at me. But basically, right, you've got the exact same kind of idea here. You've got the piece, yoink. So the big difference is that the Zuki Mira kit. Instead of putting the, the little fitter bullshit thing on this piece, it puts them right there. It puts them on the fuselage. So all this piece has to do is like, you know, you just have to get it into the range where the pips fit into the side of the fuselage, and then boom, it just kind of locks in place. The fit is, you know, pretty damn good. You do have a little bit of a line there, but that's, that's like a Mr. Surfacer 500 running it in there just to fill it a tiny, tiny little bit. And then you can go to the same on the other side. Do the exact same thing over here. And there we go. Looks fine. Look in, you know, look down the hole and the intakes all line up. Everything looks great. Cool. So given the similarities between these two, you know, the, the, very close engineering approaches. Who takes it? Well, that's a tough one. I think it kind of depends on what you value more. Do you want something that fits? Or do you want that little detail on the inside of the intake that you're not really going to see all that much? Because to me, that's the that's the difference. The Zuki Mira has... Now it's, it's like in love with itself. It doesn't want to leave. You know, the Zuki Mira has that detail on the inside of the splitter plate there, which... Is cool. It's nice to have, for sure. But I would also argue that the you know the the forward portion of the splitter being separate is a useless, pointless thing. It doesn't need like there's no reason for that. And also putting this mounting piece here on this thing instead of on the fuselage is a mistake because you have to first of all wiggle this thing in place to get it where it needs to go instead of just being able to like set it on from the outside. Um, you also have no depth control for what if it goes the other way too far, right? The depth control should be on the fuselage itself, and then the piece going onto it should, yeah, it, that's, I don't know why they designed this with this here. It just, it seems a silly approach, but I'm not Tsukimura. Uh The Meng, on the other hand, 
corrected for that. You know, it has the one piece with the splitter on it. It has, it doesn't fuck with putting anything on this. You know, all the depth control stuff is along here. It's this piece and this piece. And so that means you don't have to finagle it in any weird way. You just come in, plop, there you go. That's it. So just for the simplicity and what seems like learning lessons from other kits, which is always something I love to see. I love to see, you know, how can we do this better? How can we make it a better experience? Meng is absolutely 100% listening when it comes to the intakes. So yeah, on those grounds, I'm going to give it to Meng. So after a dismal, you know, two losses right in a row out of the gate, Meng is catching up and uh, they have been providing a very surprisingly pleasant build experience with this F4G. So keep watching as we move into additional things to compare in future Weasel Off episodes. And until that time, you gotta be shitting me.